from the venomous blue viper to a terrifying serpent found in a bag of lettuce, here are 10 of the most venomous and dangerous snakes on the planet. 10. Eastern Brown Snake The brown snake actually refers to two different genera of snakes, and these two snakes are found on two different continents. If you're in North America, the brown snake is a small, shy, non-venomous snake. But if you're in Australia, like me, the brown snake is the bane of every Australian's existence. It's one of nine species of brown snake in the country and considered to be in the top ranking of the world's deadliest snakes. The venom is powerful enough to kill a full-grown man. The largest brown snake can measure over 8 feet or 2.4 metres in length and according to Australian Geographic, they boast the second most toxic venom of any land snake known to science. The venom produced by the snake has several different toxins, with some causing paralysis, some preventing blood from clotting, and all of them working together to cause brain hemorrhaging, internal bleeding and eventual death. Between 2000 and 2016, there were only about two deaths attributed to brown snakes each year in Australia. This is actually pretty good, all things considered. They do have quite the reputation for being aggressive, but they typically try to stay away from humans. You'd have to be very unlucky to be bitten by an eastern brown snake. Number 9. Rattlesnake You definitely don't want to run into a rattlesnake. This is one of the most dangerous and most venomous snakes found anywhere in North America. You can find them all throughout the southwestern United States and northern Mexico. If you happen to live in Arizona, congratulations! There are 13 different species of rattlesnakes in the state, more than anywhere else. But just what makes rattlesnakes so special? It's their rattle. If you live in Arizona, chances are you're pretty familiar with it. These snakes rattle as a warning sign, and it's a really good thing they do that. The rattle has undoubtedly saved thousands of people from accidentally stepping on a coiled rattlesnake in a field and getting bitten. But what are the rattles made out of, and how do they make that noise? According to herpetologist Sara Vianum, the rattle is built of segments of keratin at the end of the snake's tail. When the snail shakes its tail, the segments hit each other and produce a low buzzing noise. Rattlesnake venom is a nice little mixture of hemotoxins and neurotoxins, but mostly hemotoxins. Hemotoxins target blood and tissues, causing hemorrhaging and necrosis. Their venom is an absolute cocktail of chemical elements. Neurotoxins target the nervous system, which can cause paralysis. What's really cool is that each time a rattlesnake sheds its skin, it grows another segment on its rattle, making its warning even louder. 8. Saw Scaled Viper The Saw Scaled Viper is a small snake with deadly venom, and it's one of the most dangerous snakes in India. It's also so tiny you could probably fit one in your shoe. Just like the North American rattlesnake, the Saw Scaled Viper has a unique warning system that keeps people far away from it. It doesn't have a rattle on its tail. Instead, it coils tightly into a knot and rubs its scales together to make a sound like a saw buzzing. This is a life-saving noise, especially since the snake lives primarily in sand dunes where it's basically invisible due to its light brown sandy colouring. The only way to be aware of the danger is the low buzzing noise coming from the sand. They also leave unique tracks in the sand that let people know they've been there. Rather than slithering forward, these snakes move sideways, winding their way across the sand and leaving behind a messy trail of lines. As for just how dangerous the saw scaled viper is, a single bite can cause you to lose a limb. The tissue damage can be so severe that if you don't make it to the hospital quickly enough, your arm or leg might actually fall off. 7. Mainland Tiger Snake The mainland tiger snake can be identified by, well, you know, its tiger stripes. The snake usually has an olive brown body with light bands, making it look kind of like a tiger, though it doesn't actually have any orange on it. These snakes aren't very long, they only grow to a maximum of around 3 feet or 1 meter in length. But don't let the tiger snake's stubby stature fool you. These snakes are wildly dangerous. According to the Australian Reptile Park, the mainland tiger snake is considered the fourth most toxic land snake anywhere on the planet. The species is often associated with watery environments such as creeks, dams, drains, lagoons, wetlands and swamps. They can also occur in highly degraded areas, for example, grazing lands, but especially where there is water and local cover. 
Tiger snakes will shelter in or under fallen timber, in deep matted vegetation and in disused animal burrows. Unlike most other Australian elipids, tiger snakes climb well on both vegetation and human constructions and have been found as high as 33 feet or 10 metres above the ground. They live primarily in Australia and can be found in places with significant human populations. This means encounters can be quite common. Yikes! Back in the day, tiger snakes were the number one cause of snake bite fatalities in Australia. They have since been overtaken by the deadlier eastern brown snake. But still, you don't want to mess with the tiger snake. They traditionally live in wet areas that have a lot of frogs and lizards. Places like these are usually teeming with these snakes. If bitten, consider yourself dead if you don't get to the hospital immediately. 6. King Cobra In Malaysia, king cobras are basically everywhere. You can step on them just walking down the street, and they can even bite you while you're just doing your business sitting on the toilet. Well, it's not that dramatic, but they are still around. A very unlucky man recently had a rather grim encounter with one of these snakes. He was only 28 years old, working on the west coast of Borneo. He went to his house, sat down to use his toilet, and was pretty upset to say the least when a king cobra slithered out of nowhere and bit him on his left arm. The snake must have slithered into the toilet when he wasn't looking. Jeez, at least knock first. Luckily, he got the cobra off his arm, then managed to come back and beat the snake to death. He then took the snake with him to the hospital so that they could identify the deadly serpent and give him the proper antivenom. He lived to tell the tale, though the experience was ridiculously painful. This guy is actually quite lucky to be alive. King cobras can kill a person within just 30 minutes of biting them. Plus, a single bite comes with enough poison to kill 20 grown men. The bite from a king cobra can even kill an elephant. The fact that this young man had enough time to beat the cobra to death and get to the hospital is a miracle. Most people aren't so lucky. 5. Beaked Sea Snake Sea snakes are some of the most venomous in the world. As horrifying as it is, there are about 60 species of sea snake slithering through the waterways around our planet. Most are docile, and to be honest, you don't have a very high likelihood of running into a sea snake while at the beach. However, if you happen to be in Southeast Asia, you could find yourself facing off against the beaked sea snake, a horrible creature with some of the most potent venom in the world. It's also known as the common sea snake, hook-nosed sea snake, and the volocaden sea snake. This reptile lives in estuaries and lagoons and often gets tangled in local fishing nets. This is why fishermen are more frequently bitten by this snake than anyone else. And according to Discover magazine, the beaked sea snake has venom more potent than that of the cobra or the rattlesnake. Its fangs are only 4 mm long, but its jaws can stretch widely, allowing it to swallow its prey whole. This snake feeds mostly on shrimp and catfish by lurking in the shallow murky bottoms in mangrove swamps and coastal waters. They locate their prey by touch and smell. Like other snakes, it waits for its victim to stop struggling before consuming it head first. The big sea snake is active during the day and at night. They don't need a lot of sleep. They're also able to dive 328 feet or 100 meters and stay underwater for five hours before resurfacing. Just 1.5 milligrams of this snake's venom is four to eight times more deadly than cobra venom. That's a whole lot of scary in one small little package. 4. The Blue Snake There are not really a lot of blue snakes just slithering and hanging around. It's a very rare color for a snake and one that belongs exclusively to the blue pit viper. Even though the snake looks very beautiful with its electric blue coloring, it's actually extremely deadly and has one of the most dangerous bites of any snake in the entire world. The blue viper has such strong venom that a single bite can cause bleeding, not only externally, but internally too. In the worst cases, this can prove fatal. Oh, and they also happen to be super aggressive. Great! But why is the blue viper so blue? It's actually a subspecies found only in Indonesia, and actually, they aren't usually blue. These snakes are almost always green, with the blue variety being extremely rare. This is because even two blue snakes can give birth to green babies. Blue vipers are about as rare as yellow penguins. Though beautiful, it would be in your best interest to stay far away from this Murphy snake. 3. Blue Crate 
The blue crate is an exceptional snake whose venom contains neurotoxins that directly attack the human nervous system. After envenomation, a person's nervous system will shut down and death swiftly occurs within just 12 short hours. When left untreated, the mortality rate is upwards of 70%. Even if you manage to get the proper anti-venom, you still have a 50% chance of dying. The blue crate is without a doubt the most terrifying snake in Malaysia, purely based on its deadliness. But what's really weird is that the bite doesn't actually hurt very much. There's usually no pain at the location where the fangs pierce the skin. This means a lot of people don't even know they've been bitten. Sometimes a blue crate will sneak into a village, slither into somebody's house where they lay asleep on the floor and bite them. Because there's no pain, the victim will often wake up already dying, suffering respiratory failure and complete paralysis of muscles and nerves. Suffice to say, this is not a great way to go. Number two, snake in the lettuce. A couple of shoppers in Australia got a bit more than they bargained for at their local grocer. They found a baby pale-headed snake inside their bag of fresh produce. It happened to a couple in Sydney. They purchased a bag of supermarket lettuce and found the rare venomous snake staring back at them once they got home. At first, the couple didn't know what to do. The reptile was pretty small and seemed to be sleeping when they opened the bag. Not knowing what kind of snake it was, the couple were wise to stay away and call animal services. Animal services told them on the phone to be careful because it could be a baby eastern brown snake, one of the most venomous and aggressive in the whole country. It was after the couple shared pictures that they were told the snake was medically significant. They found out later that medically significant means if bitten, you must go to the hospital immediately. Nobody is sure how the snake got into the lettuce. These are pretty shy snakes and luckily they have no recorded fatalities. The animal services finally came and took the snake away from the couple. But if one of them had stuck their hand in the bag by accident, they would have been in some big trouble. 1. Mangrove Snake The mangrove snake is actually one of the least known venomous serpents in the entire world. Have you heard of it? No? Didn't think so. It's a very unique looking animal, slender with narrow yellow bands segmented across its black body. Another name for the mangrove snake is the yellow-ringed cat snake. The eye structure allows it to see a lot better at night when it is most active and on the hunt. This thing just looks venomous. It can normally be found coiled around mangrove branches, hence the name, that hang over coastal waters. In other words, if you're doing some kayaking at night, you'd better be careful of mangrove snakes in the trees above. But where do these venomous snakes live? Primarily in Southeast Asia. They can be found all throughout Indonesia and Malaysia, through Thailand, all the way to Vietnam. And even more horrifying is that according to the Smithsonian National Zoo, a population of mangrove snakes was accidentally introduced to Texas. As for just how venomous the mangrove snake is, most people won't actually die from a single bite. It has rear fangs that inject its victims with mild venom. It uses this venom for hunting its prey, which primarily consists of birds, though the venom has little effect on land animals like mice and other small mammals. In humans, it's not exactly lethal, but it will cause discoloration of the skin and agonizing pain for the unlucky person that was bit. Thanks for watching. Which one of these snakes freaked you out the most? Let me know in the comments, and if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more awesome content. See you next time. Bye-bye now.